Chris LaSilva with Shore Shave University here today. Our topic of this video is going to be on a motor replacement. Uh, motor replacement is going to be a fairly rare occurrence. Uh, most of the time you might be just getting in there to replace a sensor. But in this case we're going to assume that the motor is bad or locked up and needs to be replaced. So first things first, uh, we've got our actuator tubes. The tools we're going to need to perform this video are going to be, of course, a new motor. We're going to need a hammer. A dull chisel or a wide bladed screwdriver and a uh, Allen wrench, uh, 530 seconds. To take the Allen screws off uh, your actuator. Now, here, what we're going to do is I want to clarify you've got two sets of Allen screws in your actuator tube. We're going to assume this is mounted on a boat. This direction is aft. This direction is forward towards your black cap. So the two screws that are forward is going to be this one. And then on the other side of the tube, this one here, closest to the black cap. Those are the two that are holding your motor in into the tube. Goes in here and here. Okay, so this is the way it sits inside the tube. These two screws here hold in your bearing assembly for your worm gears. Do not remove those, please. You're going to start seeing as they're coming out, they will have a tamper-proof screw moving forward. So you'll, you'll easily be able to differentiate which ones you need to take out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our screws out that hold the motor in. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to take a dull chisel or flat bladed screwdriver, okay? And what you want to do is you want to take a pretty decent angle at it. Don't take it like this because you're just going to take a chunk off the end of the cap. You're going to start on one side, tap, See the cap will start to come off. Don't try and take it all off one side because you're just going to break it or bend something. And when you're done, you're going to have to take the sheathing off so you can pull it away from the wires. Okay, strip that back, pull your cap back. Okay, and if you look up inside the end of the tube, this one's going to come out very easy because it's my test rig. But normally what you would do is you would grab that shaft with a pair of needle nose pliers. You don't want to grab it by the wire and you're going to pull the whole assembly out and set it on the table. So this is what you've got here, okay? You want to look inside the tube, verify that there's no moisture inside the tube, and you also want to note the orientation of the shaft, the keyway that's inside, you can see in there. That keyway is going to match with this keyway here. So that's how you're going to put the motor back in. So if there's no moisture in there, we're good to go. You don't have to dry it out or clean it out. So we'll proceed with the motor replacement. All we're going to do in this case is we're going to take this motor, set it aside. We're going to take our new motor and what you're going to do is you're going to hold your motor with this screw and this screw at 9 and 3 o'clock, okay? So that it orients with the holes here. So when you put them in, you're going to try and get them to line up this way. Now, what you have to do is you have to get this shaft and the inner shaft to line up correctly, which just happens to be the shaft is at 9 and 3 o'clock, okay? So if we have our shaft the same way, I'm going to go ahead and turn it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and hold the motor by the shaft. You're going to slide it in. And if you look in this hole right here, when you get it in the hole, like right there, the shaft just went in, and you can see your threads. Okay? You're in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our bolt, our screw, Sometimes you might have to use it as a center, so you're going to center it up in the hole. 
just get it started and then go to your other side get that one centered in the hole and sometimes you have to go in and pick the back of the motor up a little bit to get the holes to line up Before you tighten everything down, take your black boot and you're going to come back here to the back. Easiest way to put this on, put it around the wires and crisscross the back end of it like this. Okay? Now you're going to want your wires to come out the bottom so that they're out the bottom where the drain hole is in the plug. So you want those there at 6 o'clock. Flip this around so that your seam is going to be where the wires are. And you're going to walk this around. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to so just have patience with it. slide right in. Okay? Then what you can do is you can get back to your screws because that rubber will center that motor and you just want to tighten each one of them. And mind you again, you have to remember these screws are only going into some resin plastic so you don't want to be super tight but you just want them nice and snug. Okay? So we've got that on. Next step is going to be your black cap, putting your black cap back on. So you're going to want to run the wires all the way out. <clears throat> and again, this is your drain hole, so you want that at 6 o'clock. So you want it right down here like this. Okay, get the black cap centered, grab your hammer, and start tapping nice and easy around, and the cap should go on nice and easy. We've redone the caps from the original cap that we used to have that used to be solid. Now we've got our newer cap that's a lot easier to get on, it's a lot easier to work with. Um, so you won't have the problems that we used to have trying to get these caps on. And you just kind of work the cap around and around, make sure you don't hit your wires. And that's it. Then you can put your any chafe guard back on your wire, plug it back in and off you go again. Thank you guys for joining us.